Well, welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with uh, two of my favorite people, uh, Keria Christopher, Director of Trade and Consumer Affairs, and Troy Christopher. He is the Chairman of the Business Committee of the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association. Welcome to Spotlight. Thank you. Thank you for having me Good here. evening, Carmel. Yes, man. Good to see you. I look in shape, you know. <laughs> I look like serious business people. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, man. I look like serious business people. And of course, we know that um, Carrier bond shop. She come <laughs> out. <laughs> I got more pressure, right? <laughs> yeah, she come out. She come out. Dress up, you know. She was the baby, like like, oh, regular, like regular people. <laughs> too much. She come out. She come out. Dress up. It's good. It's good. It's good to see it. And 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 for very very important cars, we have the the by BVI trade show coming up. And uh, as director of Trade and Consumer Affairs, uh, Christopher, you have partnered with the BBICCHA to make this year's uh, trade show uh, uh, even greater and more important mm -hmm. uh, tradition to the, to, to the, to the BBI. Uh, first, I want to talk to you about your partnership and what this means to uh, Trade and Consumer Affairs. Well, I want to thank Troy publicly for inviting me to partner with him. I know Troy a long time, and I think he has uh, similar energy, and so it's always good to do something that you love and find someone to work with you who have the same passion. And as I can't say I'm new anymore, I'm three months into the job, so I'm fairly new, mm -hmm. uh, fairly new for the Director of Training and Consumer Affairs. We have a lot of exciting initi initiatives that we want to, you know, initiate for this year. We have themed our year at trade, fueling the entrepreneurial spirit. So when Troy came to me with the idea of partnering, I said yes right away. I had no idea where I would get the money from, but I knew that it was something that we definitely would work together. And so with Troy's persistence and his energy, we thought it was a really good idea to, you know, adopt, we're using the term adopt, four local businesses. And the Department of Trade will fully fund their experience at the trade show. Mm. So we're super, super excited. And later on, of course, we'll get into how we chose those people and the expectations of them at the trade show and moving forward. So we're just happy to be invited and we know that we'll make you guys proud Most in a partnership. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. And, 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 and as a vision, how does the trade show fit into the trade department's vision? That is an awesome question. Uh, I'm proud to say that today we're very much coming, Try thank you for your support there, mm -hmm. coming from uh, an event at Maria's by the Sea where we were, you know, launching our investment strategy and announcing our business of the month and business of the year um, initiative and so the department you know trade is normally associated with trade trade licenses and that's a part of what we do mm -hmm. however we'll be refocusing our strategy this year and we are very much into investment locally regionally and internationally so this is very timely because we know that businesses locally young entrepreneurs they are the key to a industry or territory being successful and they are key to ensuring that the economy is strong so because our investment strategy has now officially been launched it is just an awesome timing for us to partner with the BVSCCHA, adopt these four companies and take them from the inception and hopefully they will grow and grow and grow as we help them mold them and expose them to different various opportunities. So we could not think of a better time to have this done. The, this is just perfect timing the for time, us. The timing is right. Yeah. I tried, of course, the, the Buy BVI trade show by its name, its very name, uh, is talking about Buy BVI and speaks to the most part of, uh, about local businesses. Uh, and, and talk to us about, well, a little, a little background about the inception of the, of the, the Buy BVI trade show, or what it actually means, and then we could go into what our expectations are for this year's trade show. Well, well good evening again. I, um, I just came from a very, um, I, would, I would say, spectacular event that uh, Kiria hosted at the Maria's uh, conference room, and it was another initiative where there were promoting um, local businesses. Uh, I think she featured um, some young persons as well as um, some other established business uh, in the industry. But the concept of buy BVI or promoting BVI businesses, yes, some of the businesses are local. Um, sometimes it's partnerships. But as long as you have a trade license and you operate within the Virgin Islands, uh, the British Virgin Islands, you're a BVI business, and the concept is to promote 
um, those businesses, give those businesses some um, attention, you create some visibility for them. Um, you know in this environment it could be um, a little difficult to get people's attention. Um, we're bombarded with information, you know, every which way, whether it's from your cell phone or from your um, Twitter or Facebook or, you know, the television, it's, you know, everywhere, just conversation. And so the concept is, um, ha and have, have been, how do we make the citizens of the BVI aware of all the great businesses and products that are available, um, sometimes just a couple blocks down the road, um, especially in an environment where we're competing against a lot of stuff on the internet, a lot of um, businesses that have been set up outside of the BVI jurisdiction. And so that's really the concept of the Buy BVI uh, trade show. It obviously was founded by uh, Miss uh, Nadine Battle and Honorable Dolores Christopher. Again, another Christopher. Uh, <laughs> here, I don't know whether this is something special or not. I think so. Um, but um, at that time, uh, they saw the need. Um, the trade show really was founded in trade, in trade department um, by Honorable Dolores Christopher. And the same conditions, you know, continue to exist as long as we're doing business within the BVI. You want to be able to promote um, the local businesses and the businesses that the, the BVI businesses and expose them not only to the local uh, market but also to the international market as well. And there was a time when trade was trade uh, investment promotion and they would take uh, those businesses throughout the Caribbean um, as well as sometimes to the U.S. and promote those businesses. And so the concept of having um, a by BVI trade show here locally um, was born to make sure you know, the visibility was given um, to those businesses. Now, how can businesses uh, participate uh, at, at, this, at this juncture? You still have uh, spaces available. Where, when, 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 what day is the trade show going to be? When is it going to be? Where is it going to be? And how can businesses be, become uh, this, a part of it? The trade show is going to be on the March 21st and 22nd. Um, it's a Saturday and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll, I'll get back to why we changed it to the Saturday and the Sunday this year. Um, but you can, there is still some space, and I'm encouraging uh, businesses who, some are on the fence. We've had a lot of people sign up already, um, but we still have some space. I don't think it's going to last uh, too long. If, they're, if, they're, if you're interested, now is the time to call and reserve your space. You would want to um, call the BVICCHA office and speak to uh, Ms. Avril Alexander, and she is going to decide you know, what package you want. We have a number of different um, options that you can have in terms of the size boots that you want to display um, and the, we find that the prices are very reasonable it's, it's an opportunity um, the prices would start from uh, 325 um, for uh, a 6x8 booth and you can go all the way up to a 8x20 booth and that's around 700 um, but for those for those prices, you can get you can obviously get in. You get a booth. You get the publicity. Um, this year we're going to have a lot of media present. We're going to have a lot of online media, television media, radio, and print. And the goal is to, um, apart from inviting the public in and allowing them to browse and go through, be, become familiar with all the products and services that are being offered, um, to make sure that that information permeates across. The, all the media spaces and so if you uh, have a new product it, it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a new business it could be that you have an existing business but you want to launch a special feature this year and there's a lot of businesses who are attending just to they have some either new plans or new programs or new initiatives or something new on the cutting edge that they're presenting this year at the trade show and they want the BVA to be the BVA uh, residents to be aware of mm -hmm. and so they use the trade show for the opportunity um, it could be a brand new business that you're starting, and there's a lot of businesses that have grown now, and I'm proud to say that they started at the Buy BVI trade show, and, be, and you know, had got that visibility, and continue to grow their business out. Okay. So you, um, you, you, you call uh, BVI CCHA, you get your booth, and, and, and what, comes, what comes with that booth? Uh, 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 any decorations, any, uh, uh, how, how does that work for you get, the person? You get some limited, I don't know if you want to use the word uh, decorations, mm -hmm. but it is what we call a booth, and it comes with a, a, a table, so you can have your stuff displayed. Um, some companies prefer 
to bring their own um, decorations, as you say, and their own look and feel, and we encourage that. Um, so sometimes they just use the space. Sometimes they'll use what we provide. Um, you, it's going to have electricity and you know that kind of stuff as well. But the concept is um, for you to make your presentation. Make your presentation. Mm -hmm. um, the public is going to come and see. The cameras are going to be there, and you know this. You know, talk about your business. Talk it up. Make you know a lot of contacts. Make your business look the best it can be. That's right. Okay. Yes, that's cool. Now you are carrier. Um, said you have selected four businesses. Yes. Uh, are you at liberty to name the four Absolutely. businesses? Absolutely. I that think they're going to be waiting for me to make sure I pronounce <laughs> their name and number right. We're excited to pronounce to, to to select these four businesses because mm -hmm. we didn't just pick randomly four businesses. We, in in our view, because of the new direction that the Department of Trade is going to go in, or is now staring in, it's important for us to associate ourselves with companies that are branded nicely, that are ready, that are ready for any exposure that they are giving. Mm -hmm. Not to say that we're not going to assist any startup companies, but at this venture, we literally looked through social media. We scoped out social media because we wanted to get that feel for that new, young, fresh, ready to go person. And so we went on social media and based on our experience, we bought a couple of products to test them out. We had no idea mm -hmm. what we were doing. And so we were really convinced with, once we call them, their reaction, once we asked them to submit some products, the speed in which they did it, all of that came into consideration. I remember us calling someone from an office, from our office in trade, and we said, um, we said what we were trying to do when we wanted the product. And she said, well, I'll have to get back to my people. And I said to myself, this is not the kind of person we want. We mm. want people who are ready. As, as successful as you are, you never turn business down. Mm. And so we need the right attitude as well. So we called her back five minutes later, and we said, well, perhaps you're not ready for us yet. Later on, when you're ready and you're a little bit more humble, we'll come back to you. <laughs> so we want people with the attitude of you are ready to display. You're ready to do business. We're ready to do business. Yeah. As, as, as a business person, mm -hmm. You never turn down business. You never. You okay. never. You find a way yeah. to always accommodate. You say, yes, we got the business. We ready to we, go. Absolutely. We, we want to show you what we got. <laughs> even, even if you ain't got even if you don't show, have anything. You're going to find something. You go and you find something or you say, listen, I really want this opportunity. How can you help me? So in any event, we're proud to say that we have Jason Roya, which is a new and up and coming trendy uh, bow. Uh, producing piece of young lady by the name of Miss Sandy Parallon. She does bows and bow ties, t-shirts, uh, sparkly. She says the Swarovski crystals, I believe, mm -hmm. um, t-shirts and tutus. She's really streaming for mostly li little girls, but now she's doing the bow ties for the boys as well. Little slippers. I mean, her stuff are so on point and so cute. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. And she has a huge following on Facebook. Everywhere you turn, you see little girls with their bows and their slippers to match and their tutus to match. And so we thought that she had a great niche because people make babies every day, all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we at least know that 60% will be girls. So we know that she <laughs> will forever be in business. And we like to dress our girls. And we love to dress up our girls. Yeah. And she had the right attitude. She was ready. She mm -hmm. came. She was fresh. She was energetic. Uh, Miss Jerry Clark, uh, she has her candy place. Mm -hmm. And I call them gourmet candies. Yes. They're beautiful done they're packaged beautifully which is something that we want to understand want people to understand that your package is everything we had a couple of other candy companies that came to us uh, but you know you can't bring it in foil paper or you can't bring it in saran wrap not for this purpose and so once you, you, you can't understand, bring it in wax paper not quite for <laughs> this purpose I was, just, I was just remembering Empire Day <laughs> well back in the day <laughs> but we want to make it clear candy though candy that if you bring paper. it in wax paper and you bring it in saran wrap that's okay too mm -hmm. we are here to help you grow that mm -hmm. business but for this particular instance we wanted companies that were ready so Jere was ready her she product right was on spot you know yeah. and KJ Headley um, t-shirt genius everybody knows about him mm -hmm. every young person old person Somehow the t-shirts are now just famous. You can get your t-shirts that are personalized to suit. Uh, I call them runway t-shirts, high-end t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So he does a really good job. And one thing I liked about him, I called him up one time. I think it was like sports or something. I know he was really busy and I was like, it's my daughter's birthday. I really need a shirt. And I'm telling you, and there was pack. He never said no. He said, come back, come, come back and I'll have it for you. Mm -hmm. And true to word, 
he had it for me in an hour. And that's the kind of energy we love. And last but not least, that's we the have, kind of service that you, that's the, the, the service and the is. energy. And I, that's what we want to promote. We mm -hmm. need people to understand that when I'm spending my money, I want to feel like I've spent my money worth. I can't stand bad service and people with, you know, not the attitudes that would make you feel comfortable mm -hmm. spending. Mm -hmm. So these young people in our mind had the right energy. And last but not least, we have a flair. Um, she is a catering company that caters with tables and chairs and high-end stuff and the beautiful she stuff. She puts on some great events. She puts on some great mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. And so we think that, you know, given those four young companies, uh, the exposure for the trade show, we think that they fit the bill and we're excited to partner with Troy and BVCCHN. We're so grateful for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you, these four young people are super excited because none of them have ever been in a trade show. So we're happy to really assist them for their first exposure in that in that type of event. This gave me a little opportunity to segue. Uh, the, the, the National Business Bureau. Yes. Is that part of your department? Or Absolutely. <clears throat> yes. Okay. And so, because uh, I, I like, you know, I would like the, the businesses and, and, and that's, that's watching, the mm -hmm. business owners that's watching and, and, and the aspiring entrepreneurs to know that, yes, some people are ready, but there is assistance for those persons who are preparing to be ready. Absolutely. You know. That's why I say if you come with the survival to the foil paper, we're still going to take yeah. you. We're still going to groom you and let you know. Because I know the National Business Bureau had offered some courses and some training for young entrepreneurs. And Troy, you were yes. there today when we had a young lady, Crystal Penn, speak mm -hmm. on behalf of the PMAC program, which is a Power Movie Academy, and that builds your confidence. It builds your entrepreneurial spirit. It builds you to be a better business leader. So that program is available and we'll groom you. Well, I shouldn't say we, but we pay people to groom you. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 tra the trainers. The tra the department yeah. and the National Business Bureau um, work together to, to, to absolutely, develop Absolutely, absolutely. But the National Business Bureau is part of the Department of Training Consumer Affairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we look at that we're the mother and they're the child. And so we really take this opportunity very seriously. The Premier expects a lot of us about us, especially with our theme with fueling the entrepreneurial spirit. So we want to encourage everybody. It warmed my heart today because we received a call from a young lady. Um, saying that she heard about our launching of the event and it was an invited only event only because we couldn't pay for everybody to you know come mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and she said i didn't get an invitation but i really want to be a young person with the business in mind and i would really love the exposure how could you not say come yes. it had to take a lot of bravery for her to even call mm -hmm. to ask to come yes. and that's the kind of spirit we love so i was happy i saw her i gave her an embrace and i was happy to see her that is the kind of spirit we need we want you to be fearless we want you to know that Every first business normally doesn't succeed right off the cuff. And so it takes grooming, it takes a lot of trial and error, and we are there to guide you and walk you through the process. Okay. Now, going back to the trade show, uh, Troy, uh, what can persons coming to the trade show expect uh, in terms of ambience, uh, entertainment, ceremony? Uh, you know, what, what, what do we have to look forward to as persons coming to? To, to observe and to look and perhaps to purchase and, and, and to, to, to enjoy uh, the trade show. What are some of the features that, that, that we can well, look forward the, to? The trade shows have always been very exciting. I'm always very excited to go to uh, a trade show. I mean, any trade show. Um, specifically the Bright BVI trade show. Um, mm -hmm. People always, uh, you come, um, there's a, a lot of boots. This year we expect to have more boots than we've ever had before. Um, we expect to have uh, different products that we've uh, ever had before and some of the, the individuals that uh, Kira has uh, talked about and uh, bring to the table. Um, we're trying to get a lot more of the auto dealers so that you can come and get um, cars and deals on the spot. Um, we have uh, a couple of secrets that we don't want to say yet as it relates to um, some businesses who are going to be doing some um, spectacular things. but. We're going to have a lot of entertainment as well, so you're going to be able to um, pass the time in a nice, merry uh, environment. You know, uh, music makes you, um, the, the right kind of music makes you comfortable, which makes you um, buy and makes you feel um, happy to be around mm -hmm. in, in, in a jolly spirit. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there, but the concept that we are pushing this year mm -hmm. is to have a little more segmented areas than we've had before. Mm -hmm. um, some persons have said that um, there's the, the trade show is there, but some of the different areas that 
Um, they want to be demarcated so that you know if you're under automotive section and you're under um, telecom section or you're in electronic section. So we're adding some of that flavor um, this year as well. Um, we're going to have a main stage and we're going to be able to have some presentations. One of the challenges that we've had um, over the years have been we kept the trade show before on Friday and Saturday. And some persons, you know, some businesses um, complain that um, it takes a lot of energy to have um, maybe two of their stores open on the Friday and the Saturday. And so um, we listened to them and they recommended that we, we do the Saturday and the Sunday. And they should allow some of the businesses to make a bigger impact um, than they were able to do before. And so that's one of the reasons why we, we changed it. As well as we think it's more convenient for um, the public to be able to come and spend their whole day on Saturday and as well as Sunday. And we're going to have some um, significant, significant um, happenings going on. I don't want to give all away yet. This is basically the promotion to encourage the businesses to come to, 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 come to, to get in here yeah. and sign up. Mm -hmm. um, we've had, a, again, we've had a, a lot of businesses have already signed up, but we still have some spaces. I'm not sure how long they're going to be available. But it's going to be one of the best that we've done so far. Well, I know for, uh, personally, uh, before I became a part of the BBICCHA and, 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 and worked in the booth, uh, I used to enjoy coming to the, to the, the show because uh, you see a lot of new things. You see a lot of things that you don't ordinarily see in the stores or you don't know that exist. People, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the businesses had a way of using that opportunity to, to bring something, a new product to the market. Mm -hmm. You know whether it was a new car or uh, so, so a, a new gadget, uh, you know a, a different kind of food, a new kind of pastry, and you get you get to go around, you get to taste, you get to sample, you get to touch, mm -hmm. and then you get the cars and all the, the, the little giveaway bags, and you go home and you saw. I used to go home and sort that stuff out, and then <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and then and, and, and the then I decide, you know, who I'm going to contact, what I need, and, and the, the and theme. The, the theme this year is the hottest. Products and services for 2015. Yes, they're going to be right up my alley. Yes. Yes. And you know, we've tried a number of different days before. Um, the last trade show was held in, uh, in December. Um, mm -hmm. We did a, a Christmas push. Um, some of the businesses wanted us to hold the trade show around that time of the year. Um, this year, it's moved back around closer to the original time. We would normally keep it in March. And so we have a lot of the businesses launching a lot of the new products that are available as, the two, as 2015 um, has come has, uh, turned around. And so, um, trust me, it's going to be it's, it's really exciting. It's going like to be and, and this year. It's, it's going to be a great opportunity for those businesses who know that they have some new product that people have, have never seen, and they want to get that exposure and show off their products to the BVI. Yes. We're going to take a break for a word from our sponsors. We're going to come back with uh, Director of Trade and Consumer Affairs, Ms. Carrier Christopher and the chairman of the BVI CCHA's uh, business, business committee, Troy Christopher, right after these words from our sponsors. Keep it locked right here in the spotlight. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited and H. Lavity Stout Community College. Welcome back to Spotlight. If you've just joined us, I'm Edgy and I'm here with the Director of Trade and Consumer Affairs, Ms. Carrier Christopher, as well as the Chairperson, the Chairman of the BVI CCHA's Business Committee, Mr. Troy Christopher, and we are talking about the upcoming trade show that's coming up on this March, March 21st. March 21st and 22nd. 22nd. So Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. And, Sunday. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be in the Multipurpose Sports Complex. That's correct. And it's starting uh, from... It's starting from uh, 8 and it goes into the evening on both days. Yes. Um, I think Sunday it might start a little later. but mm -hmm. yeah. and, and persons coming to uh, attend the, the show are going to be able to, to purchase uh, 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 on the spot or is just to, to promote what's in the stores. How well, does that work? Well, persons coming to the show, um, obviously they're going to be able to view all the products. Um, we have made the decision to allow um, sales uh, at the trade show. That's one of the concerns that the vendors had, whether you could actually sell. Uh, it's something that we encourage normally for the second day. You Sometimes you have um, great uh, presentations and products that you have available. Um, you don't want to, especially if you don't have an excess stock, 
at on location. Don't want to mess up the display. You don't. I don't want them to mess up the displays. Yeah. I don't want them to sell them off before um, the rest of the people um, get, get there. Um, if you have business that has excess stock, you know it, it may not be a problem. Um, but you know this is basically something that we want to um, to maintain in terms of the presentation all through. Um, having a good service. We, we're also going to have food available. Mm -hmm. um, so if you come during the day, um, you, you don't have no excuse to leave. Um, you're going to be able to get um, several different types of food um, while you're wrong. If you're hungry and you want to get something and you want to go back, there back in again. You know, sometimes you see a great product and there's a lot of people by that table and you can't get to um, the table, to the table yeah. yet. Let me go get something. You could go, out. you get something, <laughs> yeah. and you can swim back around, or you can go up, down, uh, go around, you can go upstairs. Uh, we're using the upstairs this year, and so, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, you know, exciting things that is going to be happening um, at the show, yeah. and 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 of and of course, there's going to be entertainment. It's going to be a, ho a whole. It's a family event. Music. Of, of and entertainment. Yeah. I, I don't want to say <laughs> too much about that it yet. Yeah, but you, you, we're gonna we're gonna roll it, it out soon. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hear about but it. what we want right now is we want the um, businesses to know that there's a few spaces remaining. We we want a pack house. Yes. There's a few spaces remaining, and you got a couple of days to get in on 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 those spaces. And so you need to call up the BVICCHA. I think that number is four nine four three five one. You put me on the spot. 3514. Yeah, 3514. Yes. 3514. Yes. Uh, 494 3514. Yes, that's right. And that's uh, Avril Alexander. Avril Alexander. Yes. And she's going to take uh, quite, really good care of you. Quite, quite capable one uh, of the, young lady. Yeah, one of the things that we're doing for those businesses that signed up early this year is uh, pre promotion. Um, we're um, promoting. Um, their businesses in a creative way, encouraging persons to come to the trade show. So they're going to have the advantage, especially if you got on board early, of talking a little bit about your business and saying, you know, this is my business, this is my product. Um, join me at boot number 16 or boot number 20 or boot number 75 uh, at the Buy BVI trade show. And that's, you know, something that we decided to do uh, specifically this year to, you know, help encourage those businesses who signed up early to even before the trade show, they're already getting promotion already. And you know, this promotion goes on for a whole month after the trade show. It's, it's obviously, it's, um, you, you're gonna get the exposure in radio. Um, you're gonna have um, two radio stations live um, covering you. You know, businesses are gonna be prepared to do their interviews and talk up um, their business. Um, we have in the online media, we're going to have print television. Um, on television. Mm -hmm. I, I know on television is going to last, you know, played over and over and over. So the opportunity is a great opportunity to have your business um, presented. Well promoted. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing like hearing about it, seeing it come down there yourself and really, you know, some people are very... Uh, cautious about how they they buy, they want to touch it, they want to feel it, they want to taste it. Yes. Especially when it comes to you know, Kira was talking about you know all these companies who provide this spectacular candy and how good it is. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna get to taste it? Yeah. If you don't come to the trade show. And they're gonna be lots of samples. And they're gonna be lots, you know, lots of lots of samples. There's correct. always there's always a lot of giveaways yeah. and you know, a lot of tasting, yes. a lot of feeling. You know, there's a lot of lot of, lot of samples. So yes. it's a, it's a it's a great event. Yeah. Um, the 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 businesses uh, coming uh, to those who are members mm -hmm. uh, do they get a, a special discount? Members of BICC should get a special discount, or the, the prices are the same. Members do get a special discount. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, three twenty five for the six by eight booth. Um, if you are a member, um, it will be two seventy five. Okay. Um, so you do get um, a discount, and we encourage people to sign up. Uh, to be a member of the BVICCHA, there's some a lot of other benefits as well, um, but members do get a discount. Yes. So you, you you're not you're not gonna penalize anybody if they try to sign up right now to get the discount. <laughs> 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 you say, uh, no, 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 no. You can't no. sign up now. You gotta wait till after the trade show just to, to, to sign up. If somebody want to get that discount, they could sign become right. a member. And uh, well, we we are encouraging um, <laughs> as much businesses uh, as possible to become uh, members. Mm -hmm. And so, 
Um, there is no penalty. If you want that discount, you can sign up right away, yes. and and the discount could be applied to you. That's that's not a problem. That yes, that, the, that, the, that, that's the, not like a plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. that's cool. Now, uh, by BVI and by its very name and, and its inception, uh, it was an encouragement for the people of the BVI to start spending as much of their money locally. And, and to bring awareness to the population that a lot of things that we were going away uh, to shop for were already available here. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and many of us didn't know it because at the time, I think, uh, promotion wasn't such a big thing. As, and my, and I'm, I'm going based on what my recollection is, my memory uh, is serving me. And, and so we were talking all the time about, man, the money's going out of the country, $50 million here, $60 million there. You know, and, and that money needs to circulate. And so we, we need, we, I think it, it's important for us to tell uh, people uh, how significant it is for our social economic development that we, we keep our money circulate, the money that comes into the territory, since we don't print it, the money that comes into the territory, that we keep that circulating here for as long as, as, as possible. Can, can you give us a, a, a sort of a perspective on? on how important that is for money to continue to circulate well, in the territory. I, I think that, um, you know, we discuss this very, very often about the more money that we retain within the, the shores of the territory, um, the benefits that it has and how it goes around. And we know what our main industries are. Um, we know the, the difference in how the territory feels when um, the cruise ships show up and the money starts to flow as those uh, the taxi guys talk talk about um, everything gets watered you know so you're using a, a term mm -hmm. and if we can maintain that circulation as long as possible then things get water longer <laughs> that's right <laughs> More water to go around for everybody. <laughs> yes. yes, if you want to use that term. Yes. And it makes, you can definitely feel a significant difference um, within the territory when um, that money is available. And one of the things that we um, have talked about and what we really want to promote is that the businesses that we are talking about, that we are promoting, um, it's ourselves. Mm -hmm. All the persons who are um, watching us tonight, either on television or on the internet, they're, they're working someplace. And their businesses are BVI businesses. You are whatever, however you contribute to the BVI mm -hmm. economy, wherever you are in the spectrum, mm -hmm. you go to work and you are at your business place. Yes. And mm -hmm. so this concept is to promote your business place, our business place, and tell everyone about what we do. Um, within the territory and the services that we provide. Now, it might seem that it doesn't directly affect you because um, the business that you have might be in a specific area. But there are so many services that you depend on to support your business and different companies that you depend on to support your business. And different companies that depend on you. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So it is important for us to grow, develop, provide opportunities for ourselves and all those kids that are coming out of school who have all those ambition and we're telling them about the future and what the future holds and their imagination and what they can deve develop. And there's so many, um, I'm going to use the word problems to solve within the BVI. It's still a, gen a relatively new territory. There's so many opportunities here and there's so many new things that can be done in different ways we can do things and that continues to grow. And so, so many needs we have. So many needs that to, we to, have. To, to fill. And mm -hmm. so continuing to invest and promote the businesses that you have and having your businesses grow and expand to solve those problems and make the BVR a better place. I'm and, and, then, and then provide jobs and, 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 and development and growth for individuals. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always excited when I see new businesses um, coming up with new concepts and new ideas and new creative ways of doing things because it means that we have more options. It means that what is available very close to me solves two problems. It solves a problem that I might have. It also solves a problem of employment for my kids or someone else's kids or ourselves. 
And you know, that's a, that's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's to invest in yourself, knowledge, grow, and the people that are around you. Yeah. I think I want, that's I a want to put the I want to put the pressure on Carrie. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 and I'm sitting here enjoying the conversation. <laughs> and, 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 and you're perhaps the most important person around the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Yeah, you got a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, and then I know you know this, uh, because we don't print money here. Right. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, and your theme and your concept, your, your philosophy, the philosophy that you're bringing to the trade and consumer affairs, the trade department and consumer affairs, is one that says, I'm responsible for bringing the money into the country. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, the, the, the money we we'll try is talking about circulating yeah. in the country. You take, you, you have, and I know you have verbally expressed this, and you have emotionally felt it, mm -hmm. that it is your responsibility to bring that money into the country. Yeah, and we don't take um, that job lightly at all, mm -hmm. especially with the, the, the major focus on investment. And so, therefore, we, I think this is... Uh, you know, Shari, when you and I spoke, I said, you know, I haven't heard a lot about the trade show. Mm -hmm. I was ashamed to say. Mm -hmm. But in a sense, I think because my focus wasn't on that area, mm -hmm. we never looked at it. But of course, I did my research. And even in planning for these events that are coming up now, I absolutely see the, you know, the importance of what Troy and the BVSCCHA is doing. You know, to our cocktail today, we said, it's so easy for people to take up a computer and click and say, um, I want two pairs of shoes and a dress. Mm -hmm. The amount of money you have to pay for tax and shipping and E-Zone or Tatala Express mm -hmm. and whatever else, it actually is not really worth the, unless you want to have something that's totally different. What we're saying, and I think what Troy is endorsing as well is, buy locally, mm -hmm. support your companies here. And so we are so happy to say, of the seven or 8,000 registered stores in the BVI, support them. The Department of Trade and Consumers are saying they're paying their taxes, they're paying their trade license applications, they're support paying their social security, they're paying their social security. Mm -hmm. support these companies so that they can maintain Providing their, jobs. Uh, that's right. Yeah. And those are the kind of criteria we want for actually getting a trade license. You've got to provide jobs. You've got to maintain your business. you got to bring in money here. And so we're saying once you meet those criteria, help them to maintain that business. And this is an awesome opportunity for them to promote their show. And, and one of the things I think we have to understand to uh, Carrier is that by spending the money in the territory, the job you save may be your own. Absolutely. Because I don't think we pay enough attention to that. People don't know. I think yeah. it's, a, it's a lack of education. Cause and if, yeah, because if the, 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 the business you're working for isn't making any money, it can't continue to hire you. Exactly. You know? exactly. So you, go, you, you spend your money someplace else, and then you come into the company to look for to get a job. Mm -hmm. The, the job, the money that that company was going to pay you as a salary, gone out of the country. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you um, know, we have, yeah, I think that's something that we really need to understand. And one of the things too is that um, we are trying as a, as a territory, we have to get better at showing off what we have in terms of businesses. I know that um, we are in an age, and we always be, you know, have to look at the media that we are exposed to. A lot of the things that we are exposed to are designed to get our attention and then sell us something. Mm -hmm. yes. Get our attention and then sell us something. This is something that we ourselves have to you know, pay attention to. Um, the businesses have to pay attention to as well and make sure that we understand this concept of wherever the attention is, there's an opportunity for sale. And mm -hmm. I think that as we continue to explain it explain it, explain it, and sell it, um, it's going to continue to become a part of us. And, you know. And, and the success is right behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we fall at the clock. You know, <laughs> the countdown on the screen, and we got to go. But we want to say that there's still a couple of boots, uh, a, a few boots left. Uh, call the BBICCHA at 494-35- 14. 14, 35, 14, 3514, call uh, uh, Avril. Mm -hmm. Get your boot space. If you're a member, you get a discount. If you're not a member, become a member and get the discount. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You, you can get an instant discount. You can get an instant discount. And it's going to be an awesome experience, a, a, a great opportunity for you to promote your business. Uh, lots of people are going to be coming through, finding out what you have on set, what you have to offer. And of course, you put your best foot forward, you make the best presentation, your know, career is, is going to be keeping an eye out on those persons who are on the ball, ready to do business. 
and of course uh, the trade and promotion department is, is there to, to, to assist you with uh, your entrepreneurial needs whether uh, it's helping to get you financing through the, the National Business Bureau get you uh, some training uh, in entrepreneurship to help you to develop your business help to get your business started there's a lot of opportunities for business uh, to develop because Carrier is hell-bent on bringing business to the BVI there you go I'm happy to see Carrier <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for, for being my guest on Spotlight. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, Thank you I'm definitely going to be back again um, with all the great details as it relates to the public's excitement. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to say too much this evening as it relates to that, but the businesses are the ones that we're really after right now and making sure that we have it um, all filled up. Um, but we'll be back and we're going to talk about what the as the old people say what the ang fang is gonna be <laughs> <laughs> fang of, what the ang fang is gonna be <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you guys for coming next week the spotlight will focus on the new developed uh, youth policy what it is and what it means for our young people how it's going to benefit them so make sure you tune into spotlight spotlight is seen tuesdays at 8 p.m and then it's rebroadcast every sunday afternoon at 2 30 2 30 p.m uh, like us on facebook like our facebook page go check us out uh, you could um, see the upcoming uh, spotlights and guests you can make suggestions of your own you can get involved in discussions about some of the, the topics that were being discussed on spotlight you could tell us who you want to see on spotlight and what topics you want to have discussed as well i'm as reminding you that when the spotlight is on you see the facts peace and blessings spotlight is brought to you by tortola concrete limited and h Lavity stout community college